Welcome everyone back to Commonwealth of Decay. And um, let's see what is on our quest log. Also, um, I, I've i decided, I took a uh, executive decision and decided that a lot of the Project X weapons and armor are a little overpowered. So I've decided to just kind of go with the base weapons. Um, that way this game isn't too much of a walk in the park, but I also don't want it to be dying every three seconds. So, as far as the planting and the scrapping, I think that's totally fine and and within the lore of the game. But the weaponry and the armor is just too overpowered. And um, don't want to make this too easy of a game. Um, so... Here, we have to rescue a survivor from flight, what was it, 1981, um, one of my favorite years. Let's, um, let's take a look and see where that is on the map. Okay, it's, it's not too far. But, uh, it's far enough. Alright, um... Also, I have been using the Hellfire, um, sniper rifle. And, um, I don't believe that I have any kind of a long-range weapon anymore. Um... I have a crippling automatic laser rifle and a fiery plasma auto rifle. That that should be good. Um I think I have here a um some sort <clears throat> Of a I don't know I can make that I can make that long range but that's more automatic um I did I think I had a yeah a hunting rifle I think I could think that we can make that um, and I probably have to pick up some ammo for it as well uh, there 308 okay I have 122 308 okay um, let's just uh, take a look at Let's see what we could do with it. Um, first, let's make the stock. Yeah. Do I have enough of everything? I do. Let's make it a marksman stock. Let's add some sight to it. Um, short scope. I think maybe a medium scope should be fine. Accuracy of is 94. So accuracy is 87. I think that should be good enough. Um, barrel. Let's add some range to it. And can we add a suppressor? No, not yet. Plus, we don't have the... Um, <clears throat> adhesive but gun nut 3 
I'm pretty sure we have enough stuff to make adhesive. But how far are we from Gunnut 3? I could actually take it. I know there was something else we were going to start working on. I don't quite remember. It's been a while. Um, let's move on to Gun Nut 3. <clears throat> let's make some adhesive. Where's our cooking stove? Here we go. Yeah, that makes that gives us five adhesive, and we got a we got just about everything but corn. Corn is going to be our limiting factor, so let's make two <clears throat> and save the rest. Close that door. We don't know anybody sneaking up on us. Let's go back to here, and we'll add a suppressor. I know it does um, limit the range a bit, <clears throat> but it also will not attract any unwanted visitors. Okay. So now we have a suppressed long range. We have our everyday to day um, advanced 10 millimeter. And uh, we also have this uh, plasma rifle. We do not have a lot of ammo for it. Um, we also have the dinner bell. Let me go ahead and rename that because Yeah, that makes it fun. Um, then we have this crippling, and we have 200 rounds for it, so this actually might be, um, but it's 200 rounds of an automatic. Doesn't last long. We have our stabby stabby. Let's name that too. Let's have some fun here, huh? There we go, stabby stabby. Um, I think this is the only one that we're kind of carrying. It's a 6.9 pounds that we don't have a lot of shots for. Um, they do, it does make them, put them on fire, but it's automatic and it's tw we only have 28 rounds. I think we should leave it for now until we could have more ammo for it. Or perhaps we could make ammo for it. I, um, let's first check to see how much, if we have any ammo. Oh. We have some caps here. Let's go ahead and take those. You know, we're gonna always need those. Um, ammo, ammo, ammo. Here we go. Do we have any? No, we don't have any plasma. Let's see if it if that is something that's even possible to make um oh hey oh no those are recycle we don't want to recycle them um that's unique can we make no we 
can make gamma rounds. What about construct? Those are just regular rounds. Recycle? Um. Plasma cartridge. I think that's taking out. Hostiles have been attracted to the energy and the sound of sanctuary. I say bring it on. Bring on the pain. Here they come. Let's go ahead and get out and have some fun. Sounds like they're coming from the front door. Or the bridge, I should say. Something's out there. Destroy the hostiles. Resistance is futile. Come. Oh, one of my settlers grabbed my nuke grenade, my nuke, and he took it at the wrong damn time. Should have waited for the big glowy guy. No, not that guy. That guy, this guy here. Yeah, I gotta use that crit. Yeah, I see another one at the bridge. I see a glowy one at the bridge. Let me see if our sniper, uh, the new sniper rifle, where's he at? Careful, sir. I don't think we are alone. I forgot. How many robots do we have here? Okay, I see another one. Another straggler. Coming along. Like, don't forget me. Any more? Uh, is there any more? I don't see any more. Uh, nope. I uh, don't see any more. Can we see anything from Red Rocket? Yeah, let me shoot over there and just see if it irritates anybody. What about if I ring the dinner bell? Okay, that's caused a caution. Here comes one. I think I got the kill. Oh, there was one down in the water. Hiding. How dare he play possum.
Okay. I think that I I am wondering if since nobody really is we don't have any provisioners or people coming I'm wondering if we put some kind of a a gate or something across the bridge that will um you know like uh stop them from crossing the bridge and getting too close to my guns i need to set up some sort of a line of defense i guess would be the best terminology for it just to protect my guns I think we still have a lot of, um, no, we don't want to build anything. Uh, I think we still have a lot of the, the picket fences that we could still use. I want to, let me, um, clean up these fellas here. Then, um, then I'll uh, I'll build that little fence offline. Oh, I'm outside of the build area. Um, I think there was like one or two down. Yeah, yeah. See, this guy got all the way over here. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. So, I don't want to, um, since these fellas are going to be, you know, coming all over here every now and then we're, when we're making too much noise that they don't like, um, I think if I put just the picket fence across here, It'll be enough for me to jump over, but since I am the only one in this universe that knows how to jump, um, everybody else just gets stuck. So, yeah, see, we have a lot of these fences that I think we could use. So let me go ahead, do that off camera, and then I'll be back. Okay, so we are back. Let's go ahead and get some food before we uh, head out for our rescuer or to be rescuer. Good. Uh, two of these should make us satisfied or should make us not hungry anymore. Yeah, now we're properly fed. Um, hold on. I want. To, I don't want to be carrying anything I don't need to be carrying. Where do Where do we have the vertebrates at? Is it under weapons or? Yeah. So we have one of those. So what we're gonna do? Gonna go in there, clear out the area, drop a vertebrate signal, and bring him back here to sanctuary. Because that's where, that's where all the survivors um, need to be brought back to. Um. So, I think that's going to be our best plan. And what I would also like to do, since we're going by the cemetery. Right, we are, where, where are we going? Here. So, what I would like to do as well is there's a cemetery like right around here and it has the um turret has a turret hacker so with that program uh you can turn all turrets to your to your allies uh especially like you know 
in office buildings where they have the turrets and all that stuff. You just got to find their the council that is controlling them and use and turn it on and make them your make them your buddies. So that's going to be the plan and uh, I don't know I don't know if last time we saw or if she came afterwards but we did get a new cow can't can we call it can we name it something oh assign ass, unassigned from workshop resources to miss dismiss from workshop there's a lot more things that we can do um can we trade let's trade with what's let's trade ramen don't got nothing okay I don't know what you could assign a Brahmin to, right? Because they show as being unassigned. And I could scrap her if I wanted to, but I don't want to because Brahmin produce a lot of uh, fertilizer. And fertilizer is a key ingredient in ammunition construction. Um, I don't know if this was finished from the last time, but we did the same thing here. We built the, the picket fence and built that all the way across. And why is there a gap here? Oh, okay, you can't get through it, so that's fine, I guess. Um, and then uh, just now we went ahead and put a little picket fence here so that um, as the pharaohs come running across, they're not going to get too close to my guns. And this also prevents, and I didn't put any gates, I'm, I'm, I'm anti-gate because uh, settlers love to open the gates to run up and, and get face to face with these guys, but then all of a sudden, okay, uh, we do want that one out. Um, Hold on. Let's favorite. Let's favorite um, our weapons. Okay, so we have a suppressed sniper rifle. Let's keep that up there. That's favorited already. That's favorited already. Kinda. Let's put that as a backup there. So. We got the crippling already saved. Okay, um, let's go ahead and put Molotovs as our backup. All right, all right. Now, now we are. I feel that we are good to go. Let's go ahead and drop a save. Okay, um, Red Rocket is still hostile. I don't know if there's any, any over here. Cannot tell, not from here. No, I think I draw them. I drew them all over um, from the uh, from the the uh, thing they just did. There, uh, oh, I guess I could clear you your stuff here. Oh, ballistic fiber, very nice. Um, let's keep this out in case so that we could do some long range um some long range scouting. 
since we do not have what had become our favorite weapon, which was the Hellfire, um, we need to be extremely diligent. I always use some more gas and oil. Okay. Just gotta keep uh, keep moving, keep looking. Be ready to run at a moment's notice. Okay, you know what? Uh, let me get into the bush here. Let's plan out our map. Um, so last time we came down to so how do we do this oh we came around this way we came around we came around this way came down yeah this is taking us it's if we come around this way to the diner and shoot across that's going to take us back here to Starlight. I pass by Starlight, but uh, there was a huge amount of um, ferals in there. So we're, we're um, I mean, we can go and clear it out. Might be helpful. Um, but uh, if we clear it out. Do we have the resources to uh, put enough armors, uh, weapons, and stuff in there? Um, something, you know, and actually, it probably would wouldn't it be a bad idea to have a, a a an oasis, I should say, an oasis right here, so. Yeah, maybe we will do that. Rather, uh, and then, if time permits, we will go and save that guy. Hopefully, we will have enough um, circuitry and uh, oils. And that to put up enough of a defense to to hold it. Making sure that there ain't nothing in our in our way here. Oh, great. We got some buddies down here. All right, so, um, what landmines do we have? We have two bottle caps. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and set that. Let's set them up over here. Let's drop one here. And drop one there. Are there any others like off to the side I'm not seeing? No. Okay. Let's try and take out the big guy first.
Oh, that didn't do shit to him. Hunters are stalking me. Great. Okay, oh, off me. Get. These guys running too, or? I need to get to a high spot. How can I get to a high place? Oh shit. I gotta run all the way back to <laughs> just Um I wonder if my crippling is going to have any Fortunately nobody has responded here. Are they still following? Oh. Here they come, here they come. I see ya. I see ya. Now we're going to test our uh, gate theory. Oh, they're trying to be smart, guys. All right, let's throw a, a Molotov at them. They're gonna try and come up that way, don't aren't they? You bastards. Close the gate. Close the gate. Okay, well we killed enough of them to get a level. Oh, that's a survivor. I'm about to shoot him. Did I just see one running? Just shooting across there? Okay. Um, now that we know we have... We still have holes in our defense... Um, because they know now that they can't cross the fence, so they start looking for other other ways in, and they found that dropping off the bridge and coming up this way is a valid, valid reason. So, <laughs> um, we need to make our home base as secure as possible before we start 
before we start going out to building other bases. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to build some kind of um, barricade, barricade here so that they can't uh, avoid our, our thing here and just, you know, come up this way. So um, that's what I'm going to do right now off camera and then uh, we will attempt to rescue Starlight and um, I'm a little scared because that's a huge place so I'm pretty sure they have two or three bloaters. Um, it's uh, making me nervous. But anyhow, let's secure our home base first before we um, attempt to secure any others. And um, just... Uh, and one. So now we are um, back. Um, what I wanted to ensure that I'm carrying enough stuff for the... Um, were to build turrets there at um, Starlight Drive-In. So I went through and I pulled out all of the junk that has uh, steel, circuitry, gears, and oil. Those are the four components for, um, for our uh, turrets. But I don't want to carry like 10 phones or anything. So what I'm doing is I'm going to uh, drop items that have other things such as, um, you know, here, the, the plastic and the silver. So let's go ahead and we're going to drop them. Let's go ahead and drop those uh, the flip lighter lighters. We could keep that because it has both steel and oil um it has a spring but i don't think that, you know the spring is not going to be any big deal same with the gas canisters um i don't know why we're carrying these other items but we'll uh all right like the hot plates right those are three pounds each so we don't need all of those items so i'm going to drop them and then i'm going to scrap them through to the ground uh, while they're on the ground, I should say. Um, we could leave that, that, office fans, those are kind of heavy, so I'm going to go and scrap them as well. Same that. Okay, so now that those items are all on the ground... go ahead and scrap scrap although we're probably going to use most of this stuff we um, try to limit our carry capacity as much as we possibly can so go ahead and scrap these items else got it all yeah we got it all. all right and we'll go back here and um we'll go ahead and take out just those items since uh when you scrap them it's supposed to break them to break down the the objects so uh did we get everything that, that has gears and Oh, you know, let me drop some of these other items as well, so. Uh, we'll put the gold bars somewhere else, because we don't want to use that as... We want to sell those. Leave the lead. 
Deliver nuclear material. Put the gold bar somewhere else. Okay, let's make sure we're getting all of the gears. Uh, there's going to be plenty of steel there because there's a bunch of uh, cars, so we could scrap the we could scrap the uh, cars once we have control of it. The first thing is we need to get control so that we could build the uh, the turrets. Get those gears. And I think that's going to be about it. I think that's going to be about it. So I think we we have enough to build at least five or six turrets, uh, and that should be enough to give it a a strong enough defense so that uh, it won't get uh, it won't be taken over again by uh, ferals. Okay, and where are we at in the day? That oh that took up most of the day. Um, let's see if we cannot, uh, did we take demo, demo, uh, demo expert, I think it is. Where is demo expert? Here. Um, we probably should I want to Okay, so critical banker we have we could do up to two crits. That's that's going to be good. Uh we probably should increase that as much as we can as soon as we can. Um I want to take this um, demo expert so that we can build um, landmines. So let's see. Let's just make sure. Uh, grenades, mines. Look at mines. Yeah, so we need demo expert one to build bottle cap mines. Um and frag mines. Oh, we need explosion ammo kits. And we need demo two. So all we need and uh, bottle cap mines are super powerful. So I don't have enough. I don't have this explosive ammo kit. It used to just take uh, fertilizer and, um, okay, let's see, what can we do to make an explosive ammo kit? Those are, these are some changes uh, from the base game for the um, Project X, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I think we need to do this. In this one, what do I have in here? Ammo. Uh, um, components, crafting capsules, explosive ammo. Oh, I 
I think I'm just gonna have to find them because I don't see where I would be able to make them. I can make a bed capsule and a cooking capsule, so if we're ever on the go, we could just drop those. But there's enough beds in different areas, and I'm really focusing on capturing uh, capturing the uh, settlements. All right, so we cannot build any type of mine, so there's no point in taking demo expert. And um, do we have any other mines in our in our um have some grenades no mines okay um and we cannot make this ammo we might be able to buy it from the vendor in diamond city or maybe even the vendor in Drummond. I'll have to keep an eye out for the 762. Um, well, it is 2 in the afternoon, 2.30. Um, it may take a couple of hours to... Um, to clear out the... Starlight. Um, I say we do it. I think we have enough daylight. It really doesn't start getting dark until about seven or eight here this time. So, I th uh, we're gonna do the same th same route or the idea of the same route. Um, oh, I went ahead and uh, built uh, some junk fences here. And then down at the other end, just in case they wanted to, to um, you know, go the long way, I went ahead and built some uh, chicken coop kind of um, things like we saw on the farm. So that uh, that way they can't come different ways. All right, so. We are going to make this attempt again. And hopefully we do not have a respawn here at Red Rocket. I don't see one. Okay. It's a good sign. Uh, let's just keep moving on. Again, keeping our head on our swirl. so good pretty quiet it's beautiful beautiful Boston morning afternoon Pretty sure conquered. Yeah, there's. I could see one right there in the middle of the street, just standing around. 
Well, as long as he don't see me. How many of these guys did we take out with the bottle cap mines? Do we have any just lying about? It doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go ahead and take our hard-earned loot. Where are my caps at? There they are. This bottle cap mine didn't do much of anything, but maybe it uh, crippled a few of them, and the second one got them. Oh, got some adhesive. Nice. And we'll check this bloater. Fortunately, he blew up far enough away from us. We didn't get infected. Um, if I go into Draman, I think that there are some zombies there. I want to say zombies. I mean ferals. Yeah, see, there is one right there. There is another one inside. Um... We'll clear them out later. Right now, we have bigger fish to fry. So what I'm thinking... Oh. I need more landmines if I'm gonna do that. I was thinking going up to the top of the screen and I only have one landmine. I wonder. But there is no guarantee that the vendor there is going to have any type of landmines. Um, we, uh, I mean, we can go in there. There's probably like three that we would need to kill. Let's, um, Drop a save. Let's give Drummond a, a try. As long as we can get headshots on them, we should be good. Keep shooting upwards. This help also grind out a uh, crit. Okay. That's what we should have been doing the whole time. Uh, grinding out some crits. So there was four of them rather than the three. I miscounted. Doctors don't seem, you know, the doctor's not mad at me and neither is uh, the vendor. Good, I didn't accidentally shoot one of them. Keep this door closed. Uh, let's check with her first. Right here. Yeah, let's bot her. Let's see what you've got. 
right, so I need frag mines. Okay. Ooh, I only have. Right, I think I have some stuff I could sell her. So she has two frag mines. That's it. Anything else I could use? An explosive ammo cat. I needed that for. Uh, but we're not gonna be taking demo, so yeah, screw you. Um, that's fine. Let me see what can I. Let me look at my miscellaneous. Uh, let me sell these death tags. Boss tags. Loader tag. Um, let's sell my magazines. Oh, I could sell her a huge stack of money. <clears throat> um, let's do this. Let's uh, sell that. That's fine. And I doubt she Doctor's has any. She'll let me take a look at you. Maybe at least we could pick up a uh, need some supplies for the road. A cure so if she has one in stock. She does. Nice. Um. That's really the only thing. That way we have a backup in case we do get um, infected. At least this way we have a backup. Okay, let's open the door. Let's drop a save. Oh wait, we we. We don't have to do this all over again in case we accidentally blow ourselves up or something, or the game freezes. Okay, so onward to the drive-in, and um, so now we have we have a few grenades, which will could be helpful. We'll drop the mines on the uh, stairs as it goes up. And um, I think there might be one there already. And uh, that way, if any of, the, any of them do happen to come up, we can uh, take care of them that way. It's gonna be really, really difficult. Um, we have her crippling, so that will help probably with, uh, all right, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick up another level of critical banker if I can. No, that's 43. Uh, what else? Can we do this going to help us? Um, sneak. Uh, but that doesn't really help much. Um, Alright, we'll take a look at that later. I don't think there's anything that's going to be super helpful right now. Maybe later down the line. Okay, so what we want to do is sneak up to the top of the screen. Now I'm in caution. Why am I in caution? There's a fragment right there. Well, am I cautioned by the blood bug? There's some frag mines over there. If I could pick those up, that would be most helpful. Why now I'm in danger. Oh, from you. Okay, let's build up some crits. Oh. 
take your meat. Okay, I want to get though that landmine. I'm not sure what that landmine is uh, protecting. If anything. I think I, I do have sneak four or three, right? So it's not, I don't set off landmines. Um, you are now 40% harder to, to detect while sneaking and no longer tr trigger enemy mines. Yes, okay. Even if I accidentally walk up on it, I'm not going to set it off. That's strange. Why is it just sitting out here? For any more? It's kind of an odd place to put a landmine. Okay, so let's take these. So the plan is let's go ahead. I want to do a quick save. I know how buggy this game could be. So the plan is sneak around, go up to the stairs, and uh, landmine it all the way. And um, so now I have what three, four. I have four frag mines. And that's the strongest thing I have in way of landmines. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them there. I don't see any bloaters, but I'm sure that there are a few. Okay, so let's... Sneak this way. Oh, this door is open. Is door normally open? Okay, make sure there is no uh, outliers here. Okay, so... Let's see here. Um, let's go ahead and drop a frag mine here. Close the door. Drop another one here. Okay. I would have sworn there was a landmine on one of these, um, one of these, uh, stair pieces. Okay. So I got one left. Okay. And then one here. There's some more equipment for my turrets. And, um, that is it. Okay. Let me check. I think there might be a box of things here. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Aha, I do see some bloaters inside.
Ah, uh, this would be a perfect time for my Batman. But I didn't bring him. So. All right. Um, I cannot throw a grenade that far. I don't think that car explodes. So what if I try and pick them off one by one? I know once I shoot one inside, inside there, they are all going to go ballistic. There's some out walking around out there too. The ones I want to take care of the most is gonna be the loader. Am I just not? they out of range or am I just shooting the wall okay once I start getting them close enough I want to start let's first throw a where's the nuke okay I have two nuke grenades Should have took care of a good amount of them. Okay, let's um how about dinner bell? And start um some of the other grenades I might have that how um, oh, I have some frag grenades so let's do those I haven't heard any any um, I haven't heard any landmines going off so maybe they're just not aware of where I am Okay, I got a few that are crippled. I want to take out these folks here. Up. hit something there. Yeah, so I'm getting a hit marker. Let's try these guys. Hitting something. Got some points for something.
The weathered are are harder to kill, I think. Those guys are um I think those are harder to target because they're skinnier. I don't know. Okay, there's one inside there. Got one running around. Another one running around over there, out of range. Yeah, okay, keep hitting something, I get a hit marker. I have plenty of ammo for this one. I don't seem to be irritating them enough. Either they're stuck in there. Okay, what about this weather? Does he he's still kind of sitting there? Let's see. Did I hear some sounds? No, I didn't. I pissed him off enough where he's going to move a little bit. I thought that I saw a... a he got no legs, so he's cool. Yeah, a le legendary. Did he just disappear? There he is, up there. No, it's a different one. Alright, got a got a hundred rounds still. Did I just knock him down or did I just kill him? I thought I heard some some noise down here, but no. Alright, well I took out that weather. Let me see if I can't... I got one. Eat and drink something so that I um, drop that. Uh, and drop that as well. Eat and drink so that uh, my AP comes back faster. Okay, and my water. What we should take is um, Action Boy. Do we have? Can we take Action Boy? We can't. That will. There is no time to waste. Your action points refresh 25% faster. I think that's going to be a good, uh, good perk to take. 
There we go. All right. Now that our ape, now that our ape action points are refreshing. Got one. I think there's just a glowing now. See, there's still a legendary weather ghoul, and I think that's him. Thing is, I don't know if he's... Because he's out of range, so I can't tell if he's, like, hanging out. Because there's a point over here, by, behind that tree, he might be hanging out behind that, um... Behind the shed. And I can't get a good beat on that bloater. I don't know if he's just, um. I don't know if he is stuck in there or hiding. Plus, we have. have any more that are hiding up here. Okay. I can't get a good beat on any of them inside the shed. There's at least one. There's a 3% chance to hit his head. If I had a crit, I would take it. Okay. Is there anybody close enough that I could build a crit? I might be able to build a crit off of you. What about you? 51? 53? Let's try. AP refresh. I got how fast that's going back. Okay. Okay, let's uh Alright, I got one. Since they don't die to anything other than a headshot, I could build up at least three just off this guy alone yeah see there's that that legendary weathered feral ghoul is full health. So I'm assuming he's inside there. That's typically a death animation, but he's still alive. Okay, let me let my refresh come back. Are there any more around here that are gonna be attracted to the sound? I'm not sure where the where the um, Bond points are for these guys. So, okay. There is a Lexington. Okay, 
AP is. Okay, that's good. I want to at least go in there with um, two. Uh, crits so that I can um, take headshots if things get nasty especially with this with this um, where is he yeah he's in there somewhere maybe he's invisible I don't know oh great hunters are stalking me so let's wait for these guys to I'm not going to go down there with hunters coming up. Where are the hunters? Hunters always seem to know exactly where you are. Oh, you know what? Maybe I did kill him because I can't pick him up now. But his mouth is still moving. It doesn't take long for the hunters to find you. So where are you? Where are they? It always seems that the hunters would come from the direction that you had previously been in. So, you know, like Drummond Diner or something. But, I don't see them. Okay, well, if they come, I'm gonna shoot them too. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, let's build up some, build up, uh, two more crits if we can. Okay. Where are you, hunters? Oh, there they are. Ooh. The hunters brought a few bloaters. Okay. Uh, what grenades do I have? I have some frag grenades. Okay. I want to take this guy here out. Okay. My uh, grenades down below have gone off. Oh, I don't want the dinner bell. The door went off. I don't think I heard the door open, but I did.
There's another one over there, another one over there. I want to watch the stairs here. There's only one more landmine before... there they are. And I am fully aware that I am in a pickle. I have nowhere to go if they come up here. Let's uh, move over to something more rapid fire. Um, did I take care of that bloater? Oh, I did not. That's the one I wanted to deal with the most. He's the one who definitely will get you infected. Okay, as long as they are stuck behind that fence, I need to take them out. Take out this skinny guy. Take out Skinny Malone. I'll have a good shot at good. He moved. Thank you, buddy. Thought I heard some footsteps. Thank you. Thank you for moving. Okay, I think that all of... Is that my legendary feral ghoul that was over here? Refresh. Anyone else over here? A legendary feral goal. Good. I'll tell you what, I am starting to get a little bit better at headshots. 
Oh, there was another bloater. I'm hitting him, but I'm not doing any damage to him. Thank you for moving closer. Shot. All right. Oh. Ah, oh, my heart stopped there for a second. I was wondering if it was gonna actually work. Okay, so I still got one over here. He's gonna move behind the shed, bastard. I think literally he might be the last one. Oh no, this one here. What a scaredy cat. We got some some uh, legless ones. Then we got some that are hiding. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try and take a crit on this guy too. Can I get a crit on him? Now I think it's just the one that is hiding in the back. Can I shoot this barrel now? Okay, so I think all my all my stalkers are gone. Right? Okay. I, um... Alright, so all of our stalkers are gone. And we... Looks like we have just one left. I need a way to draw him out and um, let's go let's try throwing some more frag grenades and see if that will entice him out maybe Oh, he still has pretty much good health on him. Let's, let's aim for his head. Oh. Ah, hold on, let's, let's take inventory of what we have. Um, we have some Molotovs, we have Stabby Stabby, and the Vertebrate. 
Huh. We really don't have um much in the way of throwables. Just these grenades and these Molotov. Molotov should in theory should be strong enough. Um Uh, I kind of want to go down there with the, with the laser rifle, and, um, oh, whoa, what the hell, I completely missed you over there, Bubba. Is there any more of you over the hiding over there behind the okay good thing you glow in the dark I'm about to say stop moving your head same with you Get it close. I'm gonna hold our breath and got him. Okay. All right. Let's um go back and build up some crits. I think crits are definitely going to be our saving grace. Not only that, it's also going to give time for any of the ones that are hiding back there See, it does say there's a feral ghoul over there. So I have at least two more ghouls that um, are alive and I'm su and full health. So let's go back to our uh, plan of building crits. I want to go in there with three crits. That way when we, um, if they come running out of screaming and make all kinds of noises, um, we can, uh, take a headshot, a guaranteed headshot. looking at anyhow it's 9 p.m. and I think from 12 to 6 they become much harder to kill so let's do this fast One over there just needs to be headshotted. One has full health. He may be one of our stalkers. And then the weathered 
is over there, full health. Seems to be harder to. I think we killed uh, the other one that we were um, building our crits off of. Just checking to make sure there isn't any. Oh, there is another group over there. Fortunately, um, oh, I only have 25. I, I built up a lot of, I used up a lot of ammo. And now I only have 8%. I used a lot of ammo for this rifle. I don't even want to shoot over there and aggravate these guys and draw them in here. I, we have two that we have to deal with and and um, that should be that's going to be hard enough. Um, still in caution. Okay, so they're still aware, but they just don't know where exactly I am. Hold on. Why am I not getting any because look at he's I'm hidden so he decided he's gonna come out and I'm whispering because I just don't want him to hear me he has decided to come out and walk and where is he where did he go there he is oh he's not the full health one he's the full health one Hmm. What about this guy over here? Did he come out to play as well? Yeah, every time I move, they're like, hey, something's moving. Something's out there. I want this guy to come out from behind the shed. I think he may have because I don't see him anymore. So no fly. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to think about the f bugs. So it's dark. And he is full health. I almost have a crit. It's too dark for me to get a good beat on his head. Can I come running? Huh, I don't remember seeing you, buddy. There's another one. You know what? Hold on. There's my weathered.
I'm going to take his head off because he's um, stronger than the other one, I think. I could build more of a crit on him. But I only really have one shot. There's a roamer. I got three. I got at least three more. I'm going to take his head. Oh, I don't have enough. Hold on. Hold on. I do have... Got one. Try to hide. There's my withered. It looks like his leg is lame. I may have crippled his leg. I have a 20% chance of hitting his body. I rather... What's the other guy? Did I get... Oh! Are you kidding me? Where are you? Where was you? Okay. Look at, look at a body shot. Barely takes about one one hundredth of his health. Hmm. How close are you for a grenade? Maybe a little further out. Um, are we getting more? As the night progresses, it seems that way, doesn't it? He's full health. There was nobody in there full health a while ago. Okay. This guy. There's this guy. So, okay. When we only had three, now we have like five more. One. What happened to my weather? Is he out of range? He has a lame leg, so... So I have one, two, three more that are full health. Okay, let me go ahead and build a crit. Sure, now I'm coming up the stairs. Oh, it looks like I'm thirsty, that's why I'm not getting my full AP back. Let's go ahead and drink. Okay. You look like you are close enough for a grenade. Okay. Did some damage to you guys. 
There's one with a red skull. Okay, he is right there, but he has no legs, so he cannot run after us. Okay, let's try another. Oh, I have no more grenades. Um, I wonder. I have 200 rounds for this one. What if I shoot him with this? Is it going to do any... It's crippling, but... I think it is doing the crippling effect, but um, his legs are not removed, so he could still move around. He just can't go running. You know what? I think I have a lot of Molotovs. Let's go ahead. Let's get rid of the small ones first. That's also going to give us some light over there. He's getting cooked. He... His health is really low. I must have hit him. I don't know how I did it, but I hit him. Let's build a crick on him. Let's go ahead and build a crit. Keep an eye on the stairs, making sure nobody's sneaking up behind us. Um... Maybe I can... No, I think I'm just wasting ammo doing, trying to do that. Okay. Um... Hold on. What about over here? Okay. Those two guys, even though they may be crippled, they are still enough to... Alright, I did get that one. Okay, let's... Ah, damn it. think I got them all. I am not sure. I don't see any more with any full health. Most are just um, Oh, okay. I got one down below me as well. I didn't realize he was there. Did I kill the um Putrid one? I think I did. 
I think I finally got him. All right, I think we got um, still in caution because because the, they're they are technically still alive, uh, but they have no arms or legs, so they can't really do any damage to me. Let's uh, bring out Stabby Stabby. Let's drop a save. Because this was a lot of hard work. And would hate for the game to freeze on me. walking to my right. Yep, there he is. I saw, I thought I heard him. Did I just get lucky and... No. He's running. We got a runner. Yeah, because they can run at night. That's why I want to take their legs off before we... Um... Before we venture down there. I may just have to stay up here all night. And... Given that it is 11 o'clock at night, in game, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this. Uh, I, I mean, you don't want to sit here and wait, with, wait to see nothing. So uh, if something exciting happens, I'll be sure to uh, capture that. If not... Um, We'll wait till uh, it's morning time in the game and then we'll go clear out the rest of them. Okay, um, I am technically in hidden so no one sees me. I, I haven't fired my rifle or weapons in, in quite some time. And so now everybody is kind of in their default walk around mode so I don't see anyone else there is just one and he wandered in from the from the mountains or something because I thought we had all of them cleared uh, I'm still you know I still have these ones with no legs but this is the only one full health in all of his legs, in both of his legs, so oh, all of them would be both, correct? Uh, so, and I don't see any others. Okay, I have the ones with no legs, which are not going to be a problem. Um, I took care of the one that was over here walking around. There may be another not 100% sure uh, I haven't seen any others um, and I think there is like one directly below me or something 
I thought I I thought that um, I had picked that up in 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 the scan, but um, no more on the fence, right? It's uh, just kind of scanning the perimeter to see um, who is just out walking around now, which is just him. And I don't see any other. Uh, I, I, you know, I came over here to see if there's any, if I could get a better look at those that are hiding behind the, behind the shed. And I don't see them. I don't see any of them inside either. So I think. This is the last, um, the last one. I'm, it's one o'clock in the morning. He could still run. So, you know, if they don't, if, as long as they don't have their legs, they're, they're, um, they're easy to deal with. If they still have their legs and at night, all of them could run super fast. So, um, just wanted to. I, I'll just wait until 6 a.m. But I just kind of wanted to uh, give you give you all a heads up of what has transpired. I thought that we had cleared them all out, except for that one on the side. Fortunately, I killed him, and then I saw this other guy, and I'm like, you know what? Let's. He's a reaver, which is, makes him a little bit stronger, but. Um, we're just going to wait until six and then we will, uh, we'll try to take care of him. Hopefully nobody else wanders in from out from the mountaintop. Okay. I just, I got tired of waiting. <laughs> um, and, uh, it is, uh, just about two, uh, after a few, um, Molotov cocktails, and uh, a few shots. We have, I believe, taken out the last, the last walking ghoul. There is, there's a few that are um, without legs, but I think that we are safe enough to take control of this settlement, and then. Um, Build out some some turrets. You know, I'm curious to see if there are any fails in here. Or any hiding in here. No. Um, the only other thing that I, I know in the base game, there is, uh, there are, um, mole rats. So once you try to come in here, you, you get full of, you get attacked by a bunch of mole rats. I don't know if that's still the case. So I'm going to keep my gun out. No, look at what's stabby stabby. What the hell? But he didn't have all of his legs gone, so... Um, keep the gun out. Keep the gun out. Morath shouldn't be a great problem. I think there might be four or five of them. I'm in caution from these guys. You know what? We're just going to let them lie until we build out the turrets. And then once we take over the turrets, ownership okay we'll 
set out a little uh, defense here. Put some up here. I don't have any more gears. Uh, any more gears? Need more gears, fellas? Let me just start scrapping these guys that had the audacity to die in here. Uh, it's just a paintbrush and a pipe wrench. Can I get? What can I get from a pipe wrench? Do any gears? No, no, I don't want to store it. No, it's just steel. Okay. Hopefully, one of these guys has you know something. so far. I'll take all the wood. So I have, uh, what, four? I need more gears for one more. Let's start scrapping these guys. Uh, we need to scrap these barrels so we don't take too much radiation. And we're taking a ton of radiation. Come on guys, give me a gear, huh? Okay, well, I don't... I haven't ran into any mole rats and they would have attacked by now. So, either that was taken out of the base game or they already came out and uh, Farrell's made short work of them. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like they already came out and uh, Farrell's took care of them. Okay, one less thing I gotta deal with. Okay. Anybody got a gear for me? Thought that I had brought enough for like five or six, but maybe not. We'll go ahead and scrap everything we can. What is our defense? Our defense is 20. We need it, I think, to be 30 to be secure. Um, we have plenty of steel. We have plenty of circuitry. 
and we have plenty of oil. Gears is the only thing we need. Um, I think we are pretty much safe. Um, for now, but I think to have it secure, it needs to be at, um, it's about a 30, just, just so that we don't have any kind of, uh, issue. We're gonna scrap. Everything we can, store everything we can. And store that. Get rid of this. Scrap that. Um Chatty store. I don't think we could scrap it. There might be something in the um, the one next to this that is uh, like a storage room or something. There may be more items in here. Let me go ahead and close this. Um. Draw a pillow. Apple. <laughs> Adjustable wrench. I think an adjustable wrench. Come on, where's... Take that. If I'm not mistaken, that does give us, yes it does, give us enough gears. What about, uh, you know, if you come over here, then the rad roach will come out. No? Okay. Nice. Um. Do, 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 do. Open. All right, you know what? Let's just scrap everything in here. Gonna go ahead and store, 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 scrap, scrap it. Enough for another turret. We'll go ahead and build that um, over by the others. I think in the concession stand there may be like a hot plate or something. We have we have at least one more turret. Okay. Uh, we may need that for something. So let's go ahead, turn this light off so we don't attract attention. And what time is it now? Okay, so let's still um, 
it's still a time from the I don't they run they're able to run from 12 12 uh, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Let me go and transfer all the junk that I have just to make sure. Oh, what was else in here? So we have some 308, so we could take that. We could take that. Um, okay, well, there's some food in here. Good, in case we get hungry. Go and take those. We can sell them later. Um, maybe we should just take over the concession stand. So let's. Leave that one up there. Let's um, store this one. Store this one. Okay. We'll go up on top and we're just gonna put some uh, turrets up there. Can we scrap you? Yes, we can. Okay, so um, not sure where exactly any uh, any things will come from, but let's just go ahead and drop them in there and uh, drop one here. drop one here to protect the uh, that little wing like thing and our last one let's uh, go ahead and put it right right here move it up a little bit there we go We can scrap that. Um, what I should do is take that one cabinet that we spared and put it over here into the wing thing so that uh, they cannot just climb up on it. Like, we could take. Alright, let's go ahead. Um, scrap this. Gears, alright, so, um, scrap that. We're gonna scrap and store what we can. We don't need this bed. I'm um, in sneak mode when I went into scrap mode, so I can't get out of sneak mode. Alright, is there anything in here? Turpentine. Let's go and take that. Let's go ahead and grab this. We're gonna, gonna put it over here. Right there, so they can't, you know, come around. And we need to somehow block off these stairs because they will open the door. Um, they'll come in here and open this door, and then they will. Um, oh, they can't open the door and come in if there is something in their way. Such as a, uh, a, um, a 
The stove. I couldn't think of it for the life of me. Okay, uh, store that. Store that. And scrap of that. Yeah, so they can't come in. Actually, let's uh, do this. Move this to the side. Let's close this door. Then we'll move this here. So they could open the door all they want. They just won't be able to walk into it. And this other door's locked off, so now this um, area is fairly well protected. What is this? What kind of gum is this? Gum drops. Oh. I thought it was something like bubblicious. Makes your breath smell good. Okay. Um, this is cleared out. So they can't come around this way. And if they try to come this way, the turret's gonna tear them up. Let's see. Oh, we can scrap that. I was hoping to, you know what, we can do. Oh. I can't just pick it up and move it? No. That's not going to block anything, so we'll scrap it. We'll go back and grab that uh, cabinet. Get out of this. Go back and grab that cabinet, and we'll put it up on the wing. Wonder, can I just put it right here? Maybe move it closer to this. Scrap this, and this. Ooh. Gather some wood too. That's gonna have any. You know what? Let's uh, move this here. Uh, 
because we can't get around this. And we need to move this so we can't get around it. So it's not all the way off. Okay. There we go. I think it's I think it's fairly secure now. And our defense is at 30. So that should be um that should be good. We just need to put a uh a um bed and a uh, water and I think then then we could consider this but what we should do because ah uh, no I, I was gonna say what we won't be able to come in here but once we we don't want the same thing with red rocket obviously um so if we just do that, once we get in here, then I think we should be fine. Um, let's put a bed up here. Can we get a bed up here? We should be able to, because there was a mattress here. here oh, I saw some green um ah huh. all right I'll tell you what, let's build the bed out here and then we will just try and figure out how to put it in. That's about as good as it's gonna get. Okay, so we got a bed and um, let's go ahead and build a water fountain. We shouldn't, because we used up a lot of ammo taking this place, taking this place on. Um, wonder if we shouldn't try to get more ammo. Uh, we really don't have a lot with us anymore. Um, okay, we could build a. We can't build one of those. Reload bench. Ah, we don't have enough gears for a reload bench. Okay. So. Can I build a reload bench? Alright, so. 
We need to go back to Sanctuary. What would be the safest route to go back to Sanctuary? Um... We could try and take that road and then come back this way. Um... No, that's not gonna work either. Or we could try and go and buy more ammo, but I think we bought all the ammo from um, Drum and Diner as we, as we could carry, or as they had, I should say. Um, let's look at our, our ammo reserves. So, uh, we have uh, 14 shot, 14 308, 165 10 millimeter. Um, 23 of the plasma, 593 of the 38, which is not bad, and 133 for the uh, energy cells. Um, I think uh, we may, because we are, ooh, we are way over. We're over two hours, two and a half hours. So I think next time we will go ahead and um, go ahead and uh, try and uh, rescue the the other the the survivor. So let's go ahead and uh, end end this uh, session, and then we will. Uh, pick up next time and we will go and pick up or try and rescue the survivor from the crashed airlines so uh join me again for the next adventure of commonwealth of dk uh i'm guy this is gen x and um we will uh see you in the next episode Thank you and goodbye. Oh shit. I didn't realize we got zombies in here. Can I close this door? Come on, Cosworth, you could do it. Oh, damn you. Open the, the damn door to escape. Am I stuck? Oh shit, that, hopefully they're not up top too. I just left cause work.